Even though MTV's hit show Teen Mom has effectively made celebrities out of everyday kids who played it fast and loose with birth control, there are plenty of already famous folks who've sent some seriously young women to the delivery room. While some of these were legitimate high school sweetheart situations that led to loving marriages, others weren't. Whatever the case may be, these are the celebs who had teenage baby mamas and the inevitable drama that came free of charge. Luc Besson Film director Luc Besson is perhaps best known for the zany 90s sci-fi romp The Fifth Element. And uh, this is? Lilu Dallas Multipass. Yeah. Multipass. Lilo, uh, multipass. She knows it's multipass. But he also happens to be a guy who impregnated a 16-year-old when he was in his early 30s. Now, before your ick meter goes haywire, keep in mind that both Bassan and his teenage baby mama, Maiwen Labesco, are from France, a country that didn't even have an age of consent when the two hooked up. Eh, screw it. Let that ick meter go nuts. Gross! Labesco, who has since dropped her surname and become a successful film director in her own right, even tackling the subject of pedophilia in her critically acclaimed film, Police, speaks only sparingly about her children in public. In an interview with Under the Radar, Mai Wen, who portrayed the iconic diva in The Fifth Element, revealed that she and Bassan did pursue a relationship together in Los Angeles, although they ultimately separated after Bassan allegedly left her for Mila Jovovich during the filming of The Fifth Element. Bassan has never addressed the controversy over his relationship with Mai Wen but he seems to have maintained a good relationship with their daughter, Shanna, as he specifically thanked her for helping him with his 2014 Reddit AMA. So that's something, right? <laughs> Ricky Hendrick Though she wasn't a household name until her ill-fated appearances on the reality series The Bachelor and The Bachelorette in 2011 and 2012, Emily Maynard had a brief brush with the celebrity life nearly a decade earlier when she got engaged to the late NASCAR driver Ricky Hendrick. As detailed in her book, I Said Yes, My Story of Heartbreak, Redemption, and True Love, Maynard met Hendrick when she was in high school and she was instantly smitten. During her senior year, they linked up romantically. The following year, Hendrick and nine other passengers were in a fatal plane crash. Maynard Maynard, who was 19 years old at Hendrick's 24, discovered just days after the crash that she was pregnant with her late fiancé's child. According to Scene Daily, Josephine Riddick Hendrick, who was named after her father, Joseph Riddick Hendrick IV, was born on June 29, 2005. Naturally, she goes by Ricky. Maynard has since remarried a hometown sweetheart, Tyler Johnson, but she still posts remembrances of her first love on Instagram every year on the anniversary of his passing. LeBron James NBA megastar LeBron James got his high school girlfriend, now wife, Savannah Brinson pregnant during her senior year. He had already graduated and gone on to his rookie year playing professional basketball, but Brinson was still left feeling panicked about the situation. In an interview with Harper's Bazaar in 2010, she said, I was thinking, what am I going to tell my parents? What's going to happen to his career? I was very scared. I was bawling. But he said, it's not going to slow me down and it's not going to slow you down. We're going to keep doing what we have to do. For James, that meant stepping up and being the man that his own father, who he never knew, was not. James told Cleveland.com, I wanted to be a part of the statistics that breaks the mold of fathers running out on their kids. To have a family and be there for them and be there on a day-to-day -day basis is important. True to his word, James stuck by Brinson and married her in 2013. As of April 2018, they have two sons, LeBron Jr., Bryce Maximus, and a daughter, Zuri, not to mention a family net worth of $275 million. Not too shabby. <laughs> Lil Wayne Rapper Lil Wayne, whose real name is Dwayne Michael Carter Jr., fathered his first daughter, Regine, with Toya Wright. Wright was just 14 years old at the time, and while Lil Wayne was only 16 years old himself, he was already an established recording artist. But the rapper's fame didn't ease the burdens of Wright's teen pregnancy. In an interview with Vibe, Wright said she's long suffered under the label of Lil Wayne's baby mama, regardless of how much she's done on her own to make a name for herself. Though Lil Wayne and Wright eventually married in 2004, their union lasted two years. According to Wright's 2016 book, In My Own Words, My Real Reality, Lil Wayne still pined for Wright long after their separation. Wayne and Wright have not reconciled, though they remain amicable. You know, he has a lot of growing up to do. He's still kind of like the hot boy Lil Wayne, and I'm at a different place in my life, but I will support Wayne forever. Wayne and his daughter, Regine, have always maintained a healthy relationship as well. Charlie Sheen. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I am on a drug. It's called Charlie Sheen. 
of all the male celebrities on this list, perhaps actor and known Lothario Charlie Sheen is the least surprising. His relationships with actresses Denise Richards and Brooke Mueller produce four of his more well-known children, daughters Sam and Lola Rose to Richards and twin sons Max and Bob to Mueller. But according to E! News Daily, way back in 1985, Sheen's then-high school girlfriend, Paula Speart, gave birth to his first daughter, Cassandra Estevez. Speart was reportedly 19 years old when she became pregnant. Fast forward 28 years and Estevez herself became a mother in 2013, making Sheen, that's right, a grandfather. In regards to his next-level generational status, Sheen told TMZ, "...it's impossibly a most wondrous day. My bucket list is a thimble." Think you'd be a good grandfather? Well, yeah, because you can leave the kid. Oh, Charlie, never change. Seriously, though, please do actually change. For the love of God, there are so many children involved. Mmm, tastes like winning. Rod Stewart like Charlie Sheen, 70s rock legend Rod Stewart had a reputation for being a ladies' man, so it's not surprising that he also became a dad in his late teens. According to the Daily Mail, Stewart got his girlfriend of one year, Susanna Boffrey, pregnant with their daughter, Sarah Streeter, when they were both 18 years old in 1963. Stewart, who had yet to find success in his singing career, wanted to give the child up for adoption. Boffrey eventually agreed. After many years and several awkward encounters during the 80s when her true identity was discovered, Streeter and Stewart started piecing their relationship back together around 2010, after the passing of Streeter's adoptive mother. The relationship broke down somewhat, you know, because she was, uh, she was a bit awkward and had a big chip on her shoulder, which I can't blame her." Stewart went on to say that the two have since become somewhat close. Jerry Lee Lewis with a nickname like The Killer, rock pioneer Jerry Lee Lewis was bound to make some waves in his career. And while he certainly did that with wild performances, the biggest scandal of his career happened far from the Ivories. During his 1958 European tour, the British press attacked 22-year-old Lewis after discovering he'd married his 13-year-old cousin, Myra Gale Brown, the year before. According to Rolling Stone, Lewis attempted to cover up the marriage by telling people Brown was his other cousin, J.W. Brown's daughter. He also allegedly lied about Brown's age, but when the truth came out, he became defiant, even bringing Brown on stage. The ensuing media frenzy effectively sapped Lewis's career, and he spent the next decade descending into drug and alcohol addiction while attempting to rebuild his career by playing at small local gigs. Meanwhile, Brown, who gave birth to a son at 14 and later a daughter at 17, was living a life of quiet desperation. What a great honor it is to be back in London, England! Oh, this is where I first came over and I brought my little 13-year-old cousin with me. Remember that? <laughs> Speaking with the Gwinnett Daily Post, Brown, who has since remarried and now goes by Myra Lewis Williams, described her 13-year marriage to Lewis as a trial by fire, devastating, and chaos all the time. Asked what advice she would give to herself looking back, Williams said, I would tell my young self that life is not always going to be like this. Get through it and it's going to be better, because it was as if I was going to be there forever and it's never going to change. Yeesh. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.